good morning. Another day out here, 7 a.m. Let's get the morning mindset and the day going well. I just quit 10 minutes every 7 o'clock, every, every day at 7 a.m. That's the plan. Let's see how well we can all stick to it and show up and, and see these. I hope you're watching it live. But And if you are live, put it live down there. And if you're on replay, put replay in the in the comments for me. I'll see those later. So uh, we've been working on our greeting. And one of the things to go back and is is to visit the time commitment. You plan out this call, you take control of the call, and then all of a sudden the time commitment, you don't you don't check the time commitment, and then the client throws you a curveball. So uh, are we working with any time restrictions today? Here's the scripting part. Are we working with any time restrictions? They're gonna say no. So you ask again. So there's so you don't have anywhere to be later in a nice tone, and usually it'll come out then. Well, I do have to leave, I do have to go, I, you know, because again, they had someone show up at their house and spend 30 minutes and leave. That's the time frame that they have in their mind. Time frame you have in your mind is two to four hours, two hours to do a thorough inspection and tune up, maybe even additional two hours if you run across some things that just, you know, that we just don't have a choice on, we have to do. So two to two to four hours is what your time frame is. Theirs might be 30 or 40 minutes. So that's why asking this does so much for you. So again, are we working with any time restrictions today? And you see my confusion on my face. So there, so you don't have anywhere to be later. That usually brings it out. Even if they say no twice and you'll get that answer, maybe 90% of the time. They'll say, and you'll say, why am I even asking this? Continue asking it. It has a much bigger reason, and it's all about being in charge and taking control of the situation and, and the authority. Remember, us talking about the greeting is all about trust and authority, credibility, but authority and time restriction is one of those things that sets you as the authority. So um, we we're doing that for the for multiple reasons not just to make sure that again not just to make sure of their uh, of their schedule so are we working with any time restrictions no so you don't have anywhere to be later okay no problem this is how it'll go i'll go ahead and get started on the indoor when it's time for you to leave i'll move to the outdoor system uh, and you can even lock up if you want. And by the time you get back, I should have everything together for you. That's a perfect scenario that I basically role played for you there. But build off of it the reality of whatever you have. Um, just build off of it whatever reality that's that happened in that situation. It's not that you're going to use that phrase. You're not going to um, use that exact script. But it's okay if you do if it fits but the idea is take charge that's authority that's credibility so once we do that it's time for a thorough inspection doesn't matter if you're in plumbing if you're in electrical if you're in hvac air conditioning heating season any season it doesn't matter if you say well we only clean the heating system season the heating system during the winter and we do the air conditioner during the summer every time you go to the house be thorough check airflow out of the vents, just maybe with your hand over the vent. Get your uh, magna helic. Check check for st static pressure. And what we want to do is call that duck pressure. It's not static pressure. Who knows what that means? It's duck pressure, right? Um, and explain that. It's kind of like a uh, putting the blood pressure cuff on your arm when you go to the doctor. They can tell a lot about you by that by those numbers that come off of come off of that reading, right? We get those done every time. You're you're alive. You're in the you're in the doctor's office. They know your heart's beating, but what do they do? They put the blood pressure cuff right on your your arm every time. So every time you go, put your magna helic on their duct system, and let's take their duct pressure and let's see let's see how healthy their system is. It's an indication of how healthy their furnace, their air conditioner, everything is. So every time we go, that's especially important when things starts to slow down, which again, most of the country is going through a little bit of a cool down and it's time to time to really up our game 
uh, up our quality of service, up all of the stuff that we have to do to stay busy. You're not going to have a uh, hundred calls come to you every day. I think at our peak, we had about 130 times one, in one day that the phone rang and we had to book calls. Now, we couldn't run them all. That filled up our schedule for a couple of days. But that that's not going to happen every day. And that's not going to happen this time of the year. So every call, how do you fill your schedule this time of year? Is be thorough and find all the work that that needs to be done at the house. And if it were free... What all would clients really want done for their house? If it was, if there was no cost at all, what all would they really want? Well, just look through the house, write everything down, put a price next to it. And we're going to talk about that uh, on how to organize that list so it makes sense and makes it easier for people to understand. But write it down, put a price next to it, and let the client decide what they want for their house. Not you decide what they want. Don't shop out of your own price but just say well i wouldn't i wouldn't spend that kind of money for me it's okay for them to say no it's okay for them to decide that it's just don't do it for them let them tell you no it's okay it's not it's not a bad thing and then you know if the list is a page long they don't have to do every bit of it today some will decide let's just get it all over with some will say let's just do the minimum that we have to do. And some will say, let's just tackle everything so we don't have to be thinking about this for the next year, and then we'll deal with the rest after that. It's okay. Whatever they decide, it's their house. They get to make those decisions, not us as the business, not us as the technicians. We just are there to show them exactly what all is, is can be done that our company can do. So, Again, we're walking through this. Hey, thanks, guys, for joining us on this call. Appreciate it. Um, it every morning, 7 o'clock uh, Central Time for me, I'm trying to get on here and just chat a little bit. We're going through the sales process. So we've got a great greeting. We've done our, we've done our commitment. We're going through our time commitment. We're going through our thorough inspection. We're checking duct pressures everywhere we go. It's the, it's the new habit. It's the new um, thing that should be done every call. Should I do it on this call? Because it's just a water leak. Every call, you should find out all the things that are going on with the system and be preemptive to stop these from turning into major problems for people, right? What's the major problem? Burning up a compressor? Yeah, that's a major problem. If adding a return for 200 or $400 would have kept them from having to replace their compressor for 4000 wouldn't you think that clients would appreciate you bringing that to their attention? They will. So um, tomorrow we'll be back again, 7 a.m. on uh, Central Time is the goal every day to go through about 10 minutes. Take this, utilize it, and the calls that you go on today, be thorough, write down everything that the house could utilize, the house would need, the house would want if it were free, that is the way you think about it. It's not to worry about, well, no, buns, no one ever buys that. It's okay. Just write it down, put it on the list, and if they decide to do it, great. I'll take care of it for you. And if they decide not, it's no problem. There's no offense. There's no personal feelings. There's no kicking the dog as you leave the house. It's just you let them know everything they their home could could use. So we're in that thorough inspection time. Tomorrow we'll talk about dividing those calls out. What do we tackle if it's a two to, you know, zero to three year old? What do we tackle and emphasize if it's three to eight years old? And what do we emphasize if it's over eight years old? So thanks again for being here. Um, if you like this, you know, hit, hit the like button, share it with friends, share it to groups. Um, and we've got a training class coming up at the end of October. Message me or m message someone in our group and ask for the details. It's a great class where we, where we do three days of solid, intense training and role-playing all this through to get you ready for uh, what I'm going to call Breathe Easy Winter. This is going to be the winter, the fall, winter season that we have to really up our game on the indoor air quality side. Breathe Easy Winter is coming. So... Good luck. Go have a great day and thanks for your times, guys.